Hi everyone, I'm Ricky from Tech Talk and today we're doing our full review of the Philips 4K UHD LCD monitor with power sensor. So a massive thank you to Philips for sending out this monitor for me to review. The model number for this monitor is 272P7VPTKEB. It's from their P-Line and it has Philips Brilliance built in. So as I'm going through and showing you these images and also there's a slideshow full of images, it's an ultra clear 4K UHD monitor with 1 billion colors and with IPS technology all come together for a critical detail for critical work. So this monitor has a B energy ratio rating from Philips but with the power sensor you can save up to 80% of power when you have this built-in power sensor which is built in here at the bottom so its size is 27 inch or 68.5 centimeters remember that's corner to corner it has a 4k UHD and the resolution for that is 3840 by 2160 that works at 60 Hertz and there's five milliseconds of response time so with its ultra 4k UHD you can get really great content detail as well as video photo and then also when you're gaming as well and as you can see from these images say you're doing photographical editing or video editing i can then show the 4k footage that i record on here but i can actually show on the monitor as well and see a lot larger display than what i would do on other monitors that doesn't support 4k the 10-bit display offers rich color and depth with over 1 billion colors also a 12-bit internal processing for recreating smooth natural colors as well it has 1300 300 to 1 contrast ratio and a 20 million to 1 smart contrast ratio has mobile link as well that is supported on your device as well please check as well but you can connect your device up to the monitor and it will show a resolution of 1080p at 60 hertz one thing i really did like about this monitor which i did show in my unboxing was the amount of cables that actually come with this monitor so you get a d sub you get a hdmi you get a display port cable a mini display port cable a usb cable an audio cable and of course your power so this monitor also comes with a vest mount which is 100 by 100 if you're interested in mounting your monitor and i will show you when we turn around and look at all the ports so with its ips technology uses advanced technology that gives you extra wide viewing angles so of 178 degrees each way so near enough viewable from every single angle you also get a great viewing angle as well when this monitor is pivoted to 90 degrees so ips display gives you a remarkable crisp images that we're seeing on the display with vivid colors making it an ideal photo film or web browsing or professional use or even if you want a just a nice general monitor it's really nice to use and I've really enjoyed it through my review period as you can see it has very narrow bezels displayed with seamless appearance features ultra narrow borders which allows for a minimum distraction and maximum viewing size suitable for monitor mounting and side by side or a large monitor set so you could easily put three of these together or four of these together as a large panel and really enjoy great gaming or work experience or professional application usage without getting distracted by your borders. One thing I do like about this monitor, as of all Philips monitors I've reviewed so far, it has low blue lights mode and flicker free technology that will help protect your eyes from the damaging blue lights, especially when it's late at night or when you're gaming as well. You want your eyes to be protected and when they are protected and you don't get fatigued, you can actually carry on gaming for longer and working for longer and enjoy using this monitor for longer so at the top there you do have a pop-up web camera so it does go into the display which helps mean that your security is safe and your privacy is safe as well when it's not in use when in use you will see an led indicator so you know it's on and is looking at you but when you're done you can just pop that down and i think that's a great idea it's two megapixels so it can be used for facetime it can be used for skype and all social media aspects and you can share your work so you at work and you needed to contact a colleague you could do that if you want to and then when you're done all you have to do is just pop it in and it's hidden and it's nice and discreet i do like that feature so it also has two built-in stereo speakers which run underneath the bottom bezel here and they're two watts of power each so you have four watts of total power so now i want to take you through the button system that you have on this monitor again this is a slight minus for me i'd rather have a joystick or control stick i feel like it's just a better movement as these buttons could be a little bit fiddly there's no tactile feel to them they're quite smooth underneath the monitor and underneath that bottom bezel there but coming up closer you can see how thin these bezels are on the sides so starting off you have your power button that will turn off your monitor so i can just turn that off 
I can then turn it back on. Then on the rear, there is also um, a dedicated power switch. And as you can see, when turned on, you actually will see the resolution your monitor is using. And for this, we're using the high resolution through my Mac. So next to that button, we have our menu button. You can then scroll through your menu here. You have loads of different options that you can go and choose, calibrate and change if you so wish to. You'll get a select and one says OK. Next up is your input selection. So at the moment it's just set on auto select. Next up is your picture mode. So you can have picture in picture and then picture on top of picture if you need to use that, which I think is a great idea. Then finally, you'll find your smart image select where you can scroll through and change your monitor easily. And this will change and adjust the settings so quickly for you to the desired one that you need on here. So you will see photo, video, gaming, low blue light mode, or you can just have it off and it will just be the default settings. And then you can change in the menu if you so wish to. So that all along the bottom there, like I said, I'd like to have a joystick as it's just a little bit fiddly for me with my eyesight, but they're just underneath the bottom bezel. So taking a look, you've got the Philips badge here. Underneath is your power sensor that I've shown you working previously where it detects a human and then will obviously wake up your display. And then when no one's there, it'll actually put it into sleep. And that's where you'll save 80% worth of power. Then you have your stand here where it's a nice finish it's a matte finish as well black in color with a silver trim just around the actual stand and also this would be an ideal place to put a wireless charger if you have a wireless charging device one cool feature with this monitor is that it actually pivots in 90 degree angle so you can have it standing up like this and i've got to admit i have never seen my youtube channel like this before and as you can see we are so close to that 8000 as well on here so make sure you do go and check out our channel tech talk and make sure you might become Become that 8,000 subscriber. So with this portrait mode here, you can do great photographical editing if you want to. You can also have it for stocks and shares or professional application usage. Maybe needs a monitor in this portrait mode and this Philips monitor here does allow you to do that. And I think that's great. So I do have another application open that I can show you as well. If I just swipe to the right, as you can see here, we have all the photographs that I've shown you in the slideshow as well. And you can see a nice big list there. Of course, Course, you have to go into the settings just adjust this on the Mac very easy very simple to do as well so as I discussed I want to go through the versatility and adjustment of this monitor and one thing I've got to praise Philips for is that you could have this monitor in any angle you want any alignments that you want and to pair up with another monitor is very easily so it does have great versatility in the height the adjustment the swivel the pivot and I just want to go through that here for you so starting off it has 150 mils difference in height so if I bring it all the way up, so that is all the way up. If I go all the way down, so that is all the way down. And as you can see there, the stand is just pointing up out the back. So you could have another monitor on top. And like I said, it does have a vest mount as well. So as I've just shown you in the rotation and in the application usage, it does have a pivot feature. So you pull all the monitor all the way up, lift towards you, then rotate in a clockwise direction. It will only go in one way, make sure it locks in. Then you can adjust that again in height to whatever your personal choice is. Very easy to do. Just make sure you use two hands as you don't want to damage the monitor. So again, just lift up towards you, up to its tallest height, back around, and then it goes back into landscape mode. And it will only go one way, so please make sure you bear that in mind. The monitor is on its own stand and then on the base, which means it can swivel. So if I swivel this first round to the left, you can swivel it around 175 degrees. And as you can see here, you can see the rear of our monitor. And I'm going to go into a bit more detail there. You've just got Philips branding. You can see where that pop-up web camera is as well, which I think is a neat idea that just hides behind. And then what you can also do is swivel around all the way around to the other side. So coming all the way around, then to the right hand side. And then if I just bring that back around here, you can see the USB section here where you can connect USB devices, which I think is a great idea. So you do get supplied a USB cable that connects to your MacBook Pro, PC or laptop. Then you have extra ports that are USB powered there as well. And finally, you can tilt your display. So to tilt the display, you have a minus five. So that is what a minus five will look like. Then you have a plus 30. Again, you can do this when in pivot mode or however you want. You can change and adjust this with the swivel, 
which I just think is awesome and absolutely great. So we can lift this all the way up and you can look down onto your work. I think the adjustability and versatility makes this a key feature for this monitor. I've really enjoyed just changing the monitor around and using it what way I want to use it. So now what I'd like to do is I'm going to take the stand off and show you how to take the stand off and then talk about the ports that you're going to find on the rear. So with our monitor laid down safely, if you're ever going to do this, just make sure you put a cloth down as you don't want to damage the display. But here you can see the column that you have the height adjustment. Also down behind here, you do have a cable adjustment system, which I think is a great idea. And just in the middle, you're going to see a little button that you need to press. Press this in then your stand and base will come out. And inside here, this is where you're gonna find your VESA mount connection. This is the back panel of your monitor, to be fair. So you have some fans, you have Philips, and like I said, you can see the housing there for the pop-up web camera. Just wanna show you, bring it into shot. You do have a Kensington lock as well. So if you wanna lock down this monitor and it doesn't go for a wander, it's an absolutely great idea. So first of all, here is one speaker on the bottom. Here is the other. That is two watts of power. Then if I come along, I can show you the menu buttons that I was pressing there. And as I discussed, it's not very tactile, which is a shame. A joystick would be much more preferred. This is a, another minor point that I'd like to just raise about this monitor. All the ports are up and behind the stand and can be quite fiddly to get hold of and connect in. The power is relatively easy. You do have a dedicated on off switch here as well, which can help with saving power. Then we move along to see our ports. So you have a HDMI connection you have your display port a mini display port vga you have your second display port out which is a daisy chain port so you can add more monitors you have your headphone jack and microphone jack and then as i showed you when turning the monitor around you do also have three extra usbs so you have to sacrifice one of yours you are actually getting that back and then two extra which i think is really good here as you can see one of them has a lightning bolt so that means it's going to be fast charging as well available there i do like like to show this part of the video as always because you're not too sure which connections you do get with your monitor as from this video you can see as i said before you do get loads of cables provided for every connection there which i think is really neat of Philips to do so let's connect the stand back on and let me finish up the review so to connect the stand on is very easy i did show this in my unboxing video if you do have any issues with anything with this monitor so what you do is put the two top prongs in first push down you will hear a click from this button that's under here then your monitor is safe to lift up and put back in its correct position so next up we have a brand new movie trailer again in 4k uhd playing at 1440p on this monitor this is incredibles 2 so very long time this sequel has taken to come out so i'm looking forward to this as well <laughs> Superheroes are illegal. We want to fight bad guys. I use bad guys. It defines who I am. We're not saying you have... What? Someone on TV said it. I was approached by this tycoon. Wants to talk about hero stuff. Help me bring supers back into the sunlight. We need Elastigirl. Bye, sweetie. I'll watch the kids. No problem. <laughs> Not the way you're supposed to do it, Dad. They want us to do it. This I don't way. know that way. Why would they change math? Uh, math is math. Math is it. math. All over Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf's are dozing. Their eyelids so heavy. They're drooping. Closing! I couldn't have done this if you hadn't taken over so well. I've got to succeed so she can succeed. <laughs> so we. Done properly, parenting is a heroic act. Done properly. <laughs> So as you can see from them great trailers and the video clips I've shown you and around this monitor, it is very impressive for work life or home life or mixing the two together. It can handle both. The display is fantastic. The 4K UHD is superb. With websites, it's crisp, it's clean. With iMovie, I get to see my 4K content in that display and I think that is awesome. A couple of minor things, just like I said, cables can be a little bit fiddly because they are up and behind in connection. So if you're connecting them all the time or changing 
in them. It can be a bit fiddly. The buttons, a little bit fiddly. Again, once you get used to it, you'll be okay. A joystick or control stick would have been preferred, but otherwise, I'm blown away by the screen. The screen is beautiful. The screen pushes them little bits that could be a bit niggly, just to the side, and I enjoy the display. The versatility is awesome. This can go up, down, sideways, left, right. It is so great. There's so many movements here that you can have. Also, you have the very thin bezels on this display where you could add more to your setup as well. You could have a double setup, a triple setup, or even four big panels making one large display. The 27 inch is a brilliant size for me. I'd maybe like to look at a 32 to see how that compares. This has been a great monitor for me using personally. I mainly used it with iMovie and then watching content on social media, using it in that way. It is nice, it has the pivot mode in a 90 degree angle. And if you are used to using a monitor in that mode for work, that's great. So with 4K UHD ultra resolution, if that device is supported, it will look absolutely stunning on this device. It is a plug and play system with Mac OS and Windows, which I think is awesome. The pop-up web camera that is up here at the top, just pops up to so say hello, and then you can have a video chat. When you're done, just make sure you tap that back down for your privacy and security and you know no one's spying on you. I like that too. If you do have any questions or queries about this monitor, drop a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help. So a massive thank you to Philips who supplied the monitor for the review and the review has been on the Philips 4K UHD LCD monitor with power sensor and the model number is 272P7VPTKEB and that's from their P-Line with Philips Brilliance built in. So I will add the links into the description so you can go and check it out for yourself and also where to buy here in the UK. A massive thank you for everyone that's watched the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, just search for Tech Talk UK. You can either see my lovely face and all the Tech Talk bad and also go and check out our brand new website where I have a detailed written review now about this monitor. That is techtalkuk.co.uk. So that's for all your latest news reviews and unboxing videos will be on there as well. So from me, Ricky, I'll see you very very soon. Bye for now.